Hi, thanks for clicking this video. Today I'll be practicing with every urethane ball I own. So we have three pitch blacks, two from 2023, one from 2021, and two pitch purples. So uh, let's get you guys set up here and uh, we'll get started. So obviously I need to get a lot better at throwing bowling with urethane. So uh, let's just get zoomed in here. So that's why today I'm going to be trying to use all of them and uh, just working on getting better. Obviously there's going to be quite a lot of differences. Differences here just simply because of them being different, slightly different layouts, uh, different surfaces. So. It's not going to be a straight comparison, but kind of fun to see. So the two newest ones I have here, I also have to say, a couple of them have a, a different grip than the one I'm using now. So if you feel like some of them are coming off my hand a little different, that's probably why. All right, so this one is my normal layout. 2023 pitch black. Ooh. And that one has a ton of surface on the better get a get a chamois so I can clean it off. Uh, I used this one in a European tour tournament. I hit it with a ton of surface, so this probably has somewhere between 180 and 360 on it. So uh, it's it's gonna hook early. <laughs> Pretty close. If you notice, I've set up the machines so I don't have to shoot spares. Not super interested in shooting spares today, so um, yeah, you're just gonna go with that. All right, kind of got close with that one. So this one is my other 2023 pitch black. This one has a stronger layout and uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that one also has a lot of surface on it. I think I hit both of these with 180 or 220 for the tournament, so uh, they uh, definitely want to dig in. So, and kind of the reason why I wanted to bring out some of the old ones, like a 2021 pitch black. I just had it sitting in the house. Wanted to uh, to see how it reacted. And pitch purples obviously are different. So kind of just want to see if there's any of these that I feel like I need to uh, start using again. Like redrawing to my new grip and start using them again. So that's what today's gonna be about. Ooh. It's a lot of early friction. All right, let's see if we can get lined up a little bit better with this one. Got a little oil on the surface, so now might be able to get lined up a little straighter. 
or maybe not. <sighs> Might be a good thing I set it up to not have to shoot spares, otherwise, like half of this video would be shooting spares. I don't know how interesting that would be. Alright, so that's the, that's the two new pitch blacks. Kind of get an idea what area they're in. Um, Instead of crush these with a bunch of surface, the other ones are all hit. Um, the two pitch purples and the pitch pitch black from 2021. All hit with uh, 360. So they also have some surface, but not quite as much as the newer ones. You can see how much easier that one gets down lane. So these two are basically too early for this, which makes sense. But when we bowled in Alborg, the European Tour tournament I was talking about, they were uh, pretty tight. Need to use a ton of surface to get my urethanes to uh, just do something similar to everyone else. Oh. Ooh. It's not bad. A little bit cleaner. Layout on this one is like I haven't measured it out, but I would say probably the layout on the two other pitch blacks are four four inch layout and a three and a half inch layout. Um, three and a half inch has the pin on the VAL. This one I would say is probably like a three and three quarters, three and a half. So it should fit layout wise in between the two other pitch blacks. Oh, that's a that's a pretty flat one. <laughs> Approaches are a little slippery today. Definitely a little, little bit shinier surface on this one is is a good thing today. Actually not bad. All right, on to two pitch purples. I think these are two. These are definitely two different spans. Uh, layout on this one is uh, slightly stronger than on the other one. Probably again in the three and three quarter inch area with a little bit taller pin. Need a piece of tape, that one. Brand new roll of tape. Seems very insignificant significant if you're a two-hander, but to me, that fresh roll of tape, it's a, uh, oh, that's a, uh, it's a nice feeling when you get one of those. All right, should be a little better. Pitch purple, wasn't super popular 
Uh, I actually quite liked it. it. When I started using urethane, it gave me a little, little more pop on the back, a little stronger motion. But in, in the last couple of years, it's kind of gone away again. Pitch black just reads earlier, continues better. So. You can definitely tell that that one is cleaner, even cleaner than the clean pitch black and uh, sharper down lane, which it makes different, but not sure if it's usable in today's tournament environment in, in Europe. Doesn't look too bad on this, but again, I'm not sure if I go out on something that's tighter, like what we balled on in Allboard, if I'm gonna be able to to get the pitch purple to uh, to pick up in the right spot and not just aqua plane down lane. Here it looks pretty good. Let's try moving, moving a little left, getting a little slower with this one. I'd really split the 8-9. Now it looks pretty good. That one does not look good at look does not look bad at all. Yeah, but that's that's the issue. That that's the issue I run in in general with your thing, and probably run into a little too often with the uh, with the pitch purple compared to the pitch black. That one was a little firm, a little, a little messed off my hand, and it just never reacts. And those are the kind of misses I have to get rid of if I want to get better with your thing. That was better. Still didn't quite make it. First one must have just been really, really good. All right, let's move over to the second pitch purple. Slightly weaker layout. I think this one is a little bit older. Back to the right where I started with the other ones and go from there. You can definitely tell that one. That one definitely came off its stronger down lane. Let's see if it's just the first shot or uh, if that's actually the case. And pitch purple. Cleaner, more back end than the pitch black. Pitch black can pick up really, really early and be be a lot smoother. Oh, that one's quite uh, quite quick when it sees the friction. Huh. It's not like it, it hooks a lot down lane, you can just tell that when it sees the friction it, it kind of checks. Let's try and move in here. Definitely more 
more motion down lane. Like this is definitely kind of motion I like to see, but it's also a little bit closer to what you would see from a reactive ball. Although not quite reactive uh, kind of motion, but I think you know what I mean. Oh, that was right. And it even makes it back from there. It's not a... I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna throw one more with this one. See, the thing with urethane is also, how does it react to being thrown for a while? Like, if it gets super shiny, it usually doesn't hold up very well. pretty good. Let's try to throw the other pitch purple now. So here's the, on, on this pattern, our normal house pattern here, definitely seems like it's an advantage to have the urethane get down the lane a little bit easier. The little shinier surfaces, the weaker pins are what's Reacting the best right now. Yeah, you can see that one where, where the other pitch purple kind of keeps going. That one just kind of checks and stops, which is probably because the pin is in a little stronger position. A little, a little taller pin makes it, makes it react kind of hook and stop a little bit more when there's this amount of friction. On a tighter pattern, it might be the other way around. You can definitely see it just doesn't, doesn't motion the same way as the other one. That's no good. Seems like that one's just getting, uh, like, might just be getting a little greasy in the cover. And doesn't really wanna do any, anything. Let's, uh, let's make a little bit of a move back right here, see if, yeah, let's move, get a little firmer, a little straighter. Definitely better. Still see it kind of gets to that like 45 feet range and just kind of skids, which tells me it's, it's probably getting a little too, uh, too lane shiny. really good. Might have to pluck and re-drill that one for my new span just to have something different because apparently in Europe right now you need to to have like four or five different urethanes to get through a, a six game block. All right, 
let's move back into the uh, pitch blacks. This is the 2021 one. It has a little less surface. The, the last 10 feet of what the pitch black, obviously like the first 30 feet of the lane, pitch black is different than the pitch purple. And then again, on the last 10 feet of the lane, it's also different. You can kind of, you can tell it on, on these shots. It's just, it's just different and pitch black is probably a little closer to what you want. Uh, uh, your urethane ball to do most of the time. Ah, a little slow. I think for a lot of people, pitch purple just didn't quite, didn't quite uh, give them the motion they were, were looking for. Uh, compared to to a pitch plank, so I like it though. As you can see it, it's looking pretty good for me. All right. So while I've been doing this, I've also kind of been throwing kind of mix between focusing on some technical stuff and then just kind of throwing shots to, uh, to get an idea of what the ball's doing. I'm gonna make sure I throw some high quality shots here in the uh, next part of the practice session. All right, so we're into the new dull pitch blacks. Let's move left. Ah, oh. oh, that's so close. Well, close for me. See, let's uh, see the pitch purple from, from this spot. Way quick. Pitch purple here. Yeah. Definitely longer, slower. I know one of the, the pitch purples I am. Um, I used quite a bit, just not sure which one. Oh, got the fire out. Thank you. 
See, that's the challenge because that's really, that's the kind of angles that people are playing in Europe with urethane. And yeah, that's not really me. This is the tall pin strong 23. Oh. A lot of surface on that ball. So we're all just trying to work on my release, my speed control, to uh, to be able to throw the urethanes a little bit better. That's the issue, like, feels like that shot is really, really good. Like those last two shots are really, really good. So I need both of them to strike. firm here I get why that one doesn't strike all right let's move over to the other 2023 pitch black Yeah, that's the 220 and 180 pet <laughs> showing up there.
took so early. <sighs> oh. Drink the break. Uh, oh, wrong black ball. I just can't get it to to shape and uh, shape that a little bit more on the back end. It's not. I, don't know, I just needed to to not be quite as forward. left. Probably need to use a different thumb to be fair. And I'm trying to wrap it that hard. Let's try to clean the ridge black. Anything. This is probably the best option. So I'm betting that a lot of you are thinking the same as I'm thinking, like just move right place straight with your thing and that's the same thing I'm thinking, but that's not how it's played in Europe right now. You have to be able to hook it, so I have to figure out how to hook it. Now we're going to try to go around a little bit, it just hooks instantly. That was pretty good. Pretty aggressive with that one. Used my legs so good in that one, and then just can't can't get it. Like the little variances I make with my 
with my speed and my hand like just can't get it to uh, to blend that out and and give me the same same kind of motion from shot to shot See the last three they, they were they were pretty good but it's strike strike nine strike which isn't awful but like I'm not trying to use urophane to average 205 I'm trying to use urophane to average 230 or 240 when everyone else is doing that That one was the worst one of the last four. And maybe the best motion. All right, let's um, actually switch to the other new pitch black. Pretty good. By the way, shout out to uh, to one of my sponsors, MS Stampe, Revision, Revision, um, accounting company, helps me with all my accounting. And uh, they're pretty awesome. So shout out to them. See, that's what I need. Because that one wasn't that great off my hand. And it still does the same thing as the last two. But how do I create that, like, consistently? And what's the difference between what this one's doing, which is obviously the right thing, and what the other pitch black was doing, which was pretty good, but obviously worse than what this one's doing. Cleaner over pitch black. Let's move over to that one. Just want to see if it's just a matter of the cover being a little cleaner. 
that that's why I'm seeing such a better reaction. Oh. Yeah, that one that one's supposed to split. That was Pretty much you can name any part of that shot and it was bad. The only positive thing was I didn't just blanchard and throw myself onto the lane, but other than that, that was pretty close to as bad as possible. That one actually seems like it's a little too clean in that area, like it just does, doesn't see the same spot as the uh, as the other pitch blacks. Which kind of makes sense, but it was really good for the right, so... Let's try to make this work. like that. Alright, come on. Gotta go flush with that one. So. Strong legs, strong hand, super slow speed. That was really good. Probably not a uh, very high probability of repeating that shot, but that one was really good. All right, so let's try the uh, pitch purple again. Just to kind of finish it off here. Pitch purple is definitely different enough from the pitch black to be usable, I think. But it does suffer a little bit from... Um, I feel like it doesn't handle the urethane carry down quite as well as the pitch black does. But it is different. Get it to the right, see. And that's that's probably what the pitch purple can do that the pitch black can't do. So I might have to redraw that one, put it in my my arsenal, just to have a, another option. Because obviously you need to have four, five. P urethane balls in your arsenal to ball a tournament. All 
All right, thanks for watching. Drop some comments on how I can get better at throwing urethane. Uh, I really would appreciate some tips, so please drop a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Visit Coolwick if you like my shirt, T Larson 10 for your discount. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. See you in another video.